a lot of differences between the culture of the United States and other countries. We eat different foods, listen to different kinds of music, celebrate different holidays. But one thing that we all have in common is agriculture. Students at Oklahoma State University are finding that out firsthand, as well as students from other countries coming to Oklahoma to do the same. Michael Reiner is from the small town of Fairmont, Oklahoma. Growing up, he spent a lot of time on the farm and not so much time traveling until now. First day I was down there, I looked around and I was like, oh, what have I gotten into? He's talking about Brazil. Michael participated in the College of Agriculture Study Abroad program at Oklahoma State University. It was his first big trip away from home and from harvest. I've been at harvest since I was able to walk, and this was the first year I have not been able to participate in it. So that kind of made me sad, hurt a little bit. But it didn't take long for him to adjust. About the second day, I was starting to feel a little bit more comfortable, and by the second week down there, it was just home to me. Brazilian agriculture is very diverse. They're the world's largest producer of sugarcane and coffee, and are self-sufficient in energy. Agriculture communications major Stephanie Bowen got to see that for herself when she traveled to South America. I never grew up on a farm and so being able to see agronomy practices and being on a farm and, and the way things work was really neat. We even got to be in a sugarcane harvester. We all got a turn to step up into the harvester and as it was harvesting sugarcane. So um, it was a neat experience for me. But it's not just about learning new agricultural practices. It's about experiencing a whole new culture as well. They have an opportunity to experience new foods, new surroundings, the landscapes are completely different, and it's just overall a, a, a growing experience for any of the students that go on this program. OSU students are not the only ones who benefit from these programs. It's an exchange. Students from Brazil get to come to OSU to learn the same things is set up to where everyone can learn something from each other. Our students can come here to learn about the way you produce bioenergy, the way or the crops you get energy from. Your students go down to Brazil to learn the way we do this. But the most important thing is that they have an exchange. They have cultural exchange, language exchange, um, um, technical issues exchange. That's an amazing experience. Uh, people there don't have any idea how work the U.S., how work university here. And uh, I really recommend that some guys from Brazil came and uh, experienced what I am experiencing here. It's fantastic. Here at OSU, we have an excellent level of education. It's a great opportunity because you can meet people from all over the world, not only American culture, but all different kinds of culture. As I was doing agronomy back in Brazil, I was like, well, I should go to a place where it's, it's number one in lots of different uh, crops. So I decided to come to U.S. because I first came here, I found it really interesting. And because the U.S. is one of them, if not the number one in crops. We only select countries where we can offer something really special and unique to our students. In other words, if, if a student could have this same experience through a travel agency or just flying over there by themselves, that's not good enough for us to offer it as a, as a College of Agriculture experience. Sophomore Amy Peel decided to take up OSU on the study abroad experience and traveled to Southeast Asia. I went to Thailand and it was just a really neat experience. We went to uh, different places um, like Chiang Rai and Chiang Mai and uh, Bangkok and we went to uh, different farms and we uh, were able to uh, learn about them and how they do sustainable agriculture there. Um, all organic there and um, everyone farms uh, and that's what's really different than um, America because we have huge production agriculturalists uh, rather than everyone having enough, farm, uh, enough farmland to feed their family. These travels are not only important to the students, but to the reputation of the university, which as Amy found out, is an influential one. Meitou University in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and the president of the university is a graduate from Oklahoma State, and he was really passionate about OSU while he was here, and he really loved what the, uh, the atmosphere of OSU and what it was all about. And so when he became president of Meijo, he made it home of the Cowboys, and they have adopted their own Pistol Pete, and they have the Cowboys, and they have Cowboy Mall, just like uh, we do at OSU. 
no matter where the study abroad programs may be, all the students agree it's an opportunity you don't want to miss. I do think it's important for students to study abroad and, and gain that cultural experience. I think it helps widen their view of the world and, and be able to understand um, differences among people. The knowledge you gain and the experience you gain through an experience um, such as studying abroad, there's nothing else like it. Every day I'd wake up and it'd be learning something new, just new faces, new people, new language. It is an experience of a lifetime. <laughs>